Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this session, I am going to discuss about canonical correlation. Canonical correlation analysis is used to identify and measure the association among two sets of variables. Now, we will discuss canonical correlation with an example. This is a sales performance example. And in this example, we have five scale measurement data variables. First, education variable contains number of years of education the employee has. Second, experience variable which contains number of months of experience the employee has in the organization. Third, salary variable which contains monthly salary. Fourth, sales variable which contains sales per month. And the fifth one is performance variable which contain marks scored by the employee in the marketing exam. The left side we have three variables which are independent variable and on the right side we have two variables which are dependent variables. Now we need to find the correlation between the independent variables and the dependent variables. To find the correlation between the independent variables and the dependent variable system will consider all the three independent variables on left side as one canonical variable and all the two independent variables on the right side will consider as one canonical variable. Now system will find the canonical correlation between the independent canonical variable and the dependent canonical variable which is called as canonical correlation. System will find multiple canonical correlations between these canonical variables. The number of canonical correlations will be decided based on the minimum number of variables in the dependent variable set and the independent variable set. The least number of variables among the set will be taken as the number of canonical correlations. In this case, independent variable set has three variables and dependent set has two variables. So dependent variable set has a least number of variables and system will create two canonical correlations between the independent and the dependent canonical variables. Now we will discuss canonical correlation using SPSS. You can see we have five variables as we discussed earlier, uh, education, experience, salary, sales and performance. We will see the data view. Uh, the first one is employee IDs. This is education. Okay. So number of years of education they had, experience, months of experience they had and this is salary, per month salary and uh, sales per month and these are the marks which the employees got. Total we have around 60 employees are there. Now we will start the analysis. Analyze. In analyze correlation, in this select canonical correlation. And in this canonical correlations, we will be having two sets. So first we will take the independent variables, the three variables as set one. And select the next two dependent variables as set two. Okay, nothing to do. Any more settings? Just click OK. This is output screen. In this output screen, the first table is canonical correlation settings. It says that set one variable has three independent variables education experience and salary set to two dependent variables sales and performance and you can see correlation used for scoring is two so you can see the next table canonical correlation table we got two correlations and you can see uh, this correlation is a significant you can see that null hypothesis null hypothesis for Wilkes test is that the correlations in the current and following rows are zero. So this is a null hypothesis. If significant value is less than 0 0.05, we reject that hypothesis. Means we got a correlation which is not zero, but we got a correlation which is more than zero. First correlation what we got is 0 0.914. Second correlation is 0 0.545. We will discuss uh, these canonical correlations in detail. Now on this screen, I have taken the output from SPS and pasted here for easy of understanding and drawn the diagram. Okay. Now this is the first canonical correlation between canonical variables independent and dependent. You can see in this canonical correlation, the first row canonical correlation is 0 0.914. So I have written here 0 0.914. 
and uh, you can see here these are loadings that education experience and salary loadings on canonical variable independent now we got from set one canonical loadings you can see these values which I have taken and have pasted here. these are canonical loadings canonical loading of education on independent canonical variable is minus 0 0.881 and experience is minus 0 0.845 salary is minus 0 0.859 these are the loadings and the total variance of these three variables is 74.3 this we got from proportion of variance explained if you see set one by self we got a 0 0.743 this is 0 0.743 if you convert into percentage you get 74.3 percent now we must take this percentage this is a variance which has been explained coming to dependent canonical variable sales and performance you can see set two canonical loadings sales is a minus 0 0.986 this is 0 0.986 performance is minus 8 Six seven zero point eight six seven. We have written, written this one, and the variance explained by these two variables on canonical independent variable is eighty six point two percent. This we are going to get from proportion of variance explained set two by self zero point eight six two. Now this uh, ninety two percent is a variance explained. Uh, okay, between independent and a dependent canonical variable. How we got this is this is from the eigen value yeah yeah i have written one separate table i have taken the two eigen values and i have taken the sum uh, for some of this two is 5.52 if we divide 5.097 by 5.52 you are going to get 0 0.92 that is nothing but percentage wise 92 percent so this canonical correlation is going to take around 92 percent variance is explained by this canonical correlation We'll see some interesting analysis in this you can see education is minus experience also minus salary also we have minus sales is also negative and performance is also negative what it means is if education is a decreasing sales and performance both are decreasing if experience is a decreasing sales also in decreasing and performance in exam is also decreasing salary is reducing then sales is also reducing and performance is also reducing so this correlation the first one is more significant why because it is showing 0 0.914 correlation very high correlation between the canonical variables independent and dependent canonical variables if you see the second one correlation the second correlation is 0 0.545 we have written here 0 0.545 and the variance that has been explained by this correlation is only 8 percent because 92 percent is already explained by the first correlation setting so this is explaining only 8 percent how we got this 8 percent same again value is taken total is taken and if we divide this second value 0 0.423 with 0 0.5 0.52 we are going to get a 0 0.08 which is nothing but 8 percent now coming to the variables you can see education experience and salary the loadings has been shown here the education is having very less loading on this uh, canonical variable and even experience is also comparatively it is less salary is also less and now coming to uh, dependent variables sales is only 0 0.167 loading is very less and here also performance is also very less generally loading of 0 0.5 and less than that we call it as very less loading is there on the variables and variance explained by this independent variables is only 15.8 percent you can see this one from proportion of variance explained it is 0 0.158 which is nothing but 15.8 and uh, for the dependent variable the variance explained is only 13.8 percent you can see proportion of variance explained from set to two by self this is 0 0.138 and this already we said these are the loadings which i have written here now coming for the uh, explanation part 
education if it is reducing then sales is also reducing but performance is increasing this is not correct actually because if education is reducing is decreasing then how come exam marks will increase so this is the relationship which we cannot accept now if you see experience is increasing experience is increasing sales is decreasing so we don't actually consider this set of analysis so we may not consider the canonical correlation second one so only we will go with the first canonical correlation which is 0.914 so uh, i wish this analysis is useful for your research thank you